Alright guys, final moto here. At Triple B, 60 laps. Let's get it going. Gonna be on Revenge of the Start, and we're going green. Revenge already moving up the pack. Rampancy, pretty good lead. Rampancy can run that outside pretty well, to be honest, once he gets up front. Revenge just muscling past other drivers. It's getting very tight, but he's working his way through clean. He's really working his way up the pack. And he's going to get it there. Get that position on Jared, and now he's going to... now. He's going to try to start working on Turkey, who comes out of nowhere to pass Rampancy. No, they're still battling. Rampancy's got that high line on lock, but he likes to enter low, and Turkey does a slide job on him, so it doesn't really matter. Now Rampancy's just going to start to get bullied. Rampancy likes to enter low, but he's not really able to at the moment. Turkey battling with Miracle for the lead. Try to hold on to it around the outside, and he gets it at the line. His miracle got loose, and Luke somehow worked his way up the field, and we have a caution. <laughs> There's a blood splatter right there. That's funny. All right, and we're gonna have another green flag restart here. 55 laps left in the moto. And we're you're 54 left, and we're going green. Oh my God, that was just a super. I'm I'm Luke Gator Rampancy. They did not jump. They did not jump that time. The inside was truly just slow. The inside was truly just slow. Who's got a run on the outside? But this is where he up. There's the slide up. He saves it from going off the track. Whoa! I want to get on. I don't want to be. I want to be on a... Okay. Whoa, Turkey going for a huge crossover, and he almost pulls it off, and I'm trying my hardest to get on Rampancy, and I finally get on him right here. Revenge going for the lead, but he gets put in the guardrail. Didn't have enough room, and then he's not going to go high. Oh, Miracle goes down. Trying to block Revenge for the lead, and he finally just hits the guardrail and gets thrown out. We're going to have Revenge and Luke 1-2 on this caution. Having a little bit of confusion right here on uh, where people are supposed to be. So it takes us a second to uh, figure that out. Enter, he's gone for a minute. But yeah, we had a little bit of confusion on the lineup, so that's why that takes a second. But also, um, Gator's back, and um, Turkey is coming back, so we're going to have a full field for the rest of this race. Come on, Turkey. Come on. But yeah, we're going to have a... Oh, there's Gator. And uh, we're going to have a full field for the rest of this race. And you see Revenge here. Sort of giving Turkey a little bit of sticky dead action. And um, now he's back. He's going to get lined up and we're going to get this race going. With about 50 laps to go. About 49 laps to go in this moto. We're going to watch Luke and Revenge as when they're up front, they usually put up a good battle. And we're going green. Yeah, when, when Luke... Oh, no! Revenge hits the guardrail. Oh, that sucks. He's trying to make it stick on the inside. And he, 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 he went hard trying to make it stick and just did not work out. Now we're going to get this thing restarted again. We just decided to do a full-on restart since that was kind of a fail. And we're going green. And this should be a good one. We have Revenge on running his inside and Luke on the outside. So this should be a good battle. And let's get to, uh, before they really start getting side by side. Oh, it's already happening. Luke's, like, loose, but... All right, let's watch this battle, because Luke's, like, loose coming off the corners, but still gaining on Revenge. I absolutely love every time in this race when it's Luke and Revenge 1-2, because they put on the greatest show out of anybody, in my opinion, because they both hold their line, and they both 
just put on a great show, have a great battle. But you see, look at it right here. Luke could easily just dive inside, but no, he's just holding his line and trying to make it work on the outside. And there, Revenge had to break a little bit, and Luke's going to get a big run because of that, and he knows he's got to go now. And Revenge also, at the same time, knows he's got to go, and he gets a little loose. And the three and four is where the outside really gets the advantage, so Revenge needs to, knows he needs to get back on the gas, and he does. He uh, stays tied with Luke, but then Luke gets a huge run off of one and two. He gets more of a run off one and two than he does in three and four. But right there, that lab, he gets another big run off three and four, and Revenge and Luke are still like side by side every time hitting the line. And it, I thought the outside, I thought Luke's outside line really benefited in three and four, but it seems like one and two, it seems like one and two, surprisingly, is where Luke is really gaining on Revenge. Yeah, it's one and two is where he's really starting to beat him. Three and four, they're about even, but one and two is where Luke's really got that line down. One and two used to be the not fun corner of the track. It was all about three and four. But then I patched up the track, and one and two is pretty fun now. It used to be, or this, the, the new version, three and four was really good, and one and two was really bad, and I just completely revamped one and two, and now it's pretty good. The original version of the track in general is pretty bad. But Luke's got a big lead on Revenge now, and they battled for quite a few laps. That was fun to watch. I'm going to go a little bit, oh, wow, Revenge. Revenge see what, sees what Luke's doing on the outside, so he decides, you know what? I'm going to try that out. I'm going to run some outside. And he goes a little too high, almost goes off the track, and he loses it. So that just shows the outside as Revenge goes back to the inside. The outside is not for everybody. It is not for everybody. I mean, it's, it's a really difficult line to run, but if you can run it, you, you can run it. You can really run away from the field. It's the fastest way around the track. It's just hard to run. And you know, with so many people doing crossovers now, I understand it's kind of hard for people to hold their line, but when Revenge and Luke are literally just holding their line, trying to, like, oh, Turkey spins out, making it. He had a huge run on Revenge. He just spins out right when he gets behind him. You see, Turkey's doing a good. He's running the high side. He's running exactly Luke's line, inside then high. And he just could not get back up high, and he's going to spin out. And uh, we'll see if they call a caution for that. Because Turkey might make an audible and just say to keep going, but who knows? Sometimes drivers are nice, and even when they spin out, they'll just call out, keep going, keep going, keep going, don't do a caution, don't do a caution. Um, sometimes drivers do that, and if, but if it's really a big enough crash, they'll be like, all right, all right, let's just get a caution, let's get it restarted. Turkey in it, oh, Mongoose's sounds are really messed up now. I don't understand why. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that is really weird. I, I guess it's the lag of the film. The, the Mongoose's sounds are really messed up. Uh, yeah, I guess it's that lag. And you see Revenge has moved. Watch Revenge's line now. He's running Luke's line now. And he's running high. And you see Revenge, who's been running inside the whole race. He's he's adopted the high line with Luke. And he can run it. He, he prefers the inside. But you can tell right here, he can run the outside. And, you know, Luke in the lead running away with the outside line has made the rest of the field sort of migrate up top. Oh my god. Luke drifting. I love that backstretch wall. Let's look at this. Whoa. Basically grinding it. He had to let off the drift there to make sure he didn't wreck. And he gets super loose. Revenge is starting to gain because Luke got really loose in that section right there. Now Revenge is going to start to dip low a little bit, but again, he's holding his line. And Luke's going to. Now that Luke sees Revenge, he's like, oh crap, I got to start going. Because he got a he had a couple laps where he got really loose, but then Revenge trying to go for a pass gets really loose in the inside, and Luke's just got that run. It's like if they're racing clean, that outside's got that run, and you can tell Luke he's literally just running the wall. And here there's a crash, and uh, we're gonna slow it down, get a caution restart halfway through this moto. Thirty laps to go, and the mongoose's sounds are still messed up. I don't exactly know why kind of unfortunate, but whatever. Yeah, and I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it doesn't matter. It's kind of annoying. It's kind of annoying, but and now we have to wait on Miracle to get back. There were some drivers that annoyed me during this race, but nothing annoyed me more than the fact that every caution restart, somebody took a break, like a two-minute break. That was absolutely getting infuriating. Ben just getting his checkpoints back. That, that was absolutely infuriating. I was getting so fed up with it. I, I was getting really frustrated. Really frustrated. 
So next race, I'm gonna have a limit. Like you can take two breaks. If you take two, I'm not waiting for you. Or if you take a third, I'm not waiting for you. All right, so here we go. Another caution restart with Revenge and Luke side by side. We're probably just gonna watch them because this will probably be another solid restart by the two of them. And we're going green for another solid battle. But Luke got a pretty good start that time. Oh no, but Turkey and Rampancy have also brought the inside. This is gonna sort of mess Luke and Revenge both up now. Oh, but they, he gets to run. Oh my God, it's gonna be a five-way battle. And Luke's gonna be stuck on the outside. This is gonna get intense. Wow, I have no idea how Luke is keeping his line and keeping his speed right now. He is going, he is just searching for room. He's going all over the wall. He is going outside of the track. He is just searching for room right now. I think this track is a lot more fun when people start migrating to the high side. It gets really intense, and unfortunately we have a caution. That kind of sucks. That was a really good battle right there. That, that really sucks. That was a really good battle that was going on right there as a semi drives by. But Turkey got the lead, and Ramsey was able to overtake Revenge and Luke. Usually really good on restarts, uh, were a little slow as we go green. They were a little slow, and uh, Rampancy and Turkey took advantage of that. And here Luke's going to have his outside restart as usual, and oh my god, Takedown and Gator are coming with them on the outside, and this is kind of fun to watch. I like when they get in a little pack around the outside. Luke's going to go around the outside, around Rampancy, and then he's going to dip down low to take the lead over Revenge. Wow, crazy battle up here. Man, triple B, and now look at, the roles have reversed. Luke is running the inside and Revenge is running the outside. The roles have reversed. And the funny thing is, is I'm pretty sure Revenge wishes he was where Luke is and Luke wishes he was where Revenge is. That's the funny thing. And Luke's making, Luke's showing that he can make it work on the inside, but you know, that outside is just unstoppable. And Luke actually hit the brakes right there um, to get on the outside, but then there was a caution. He was just going to go to the outside and start working there with Revenge. And he'd, he'd rather work on the outside and try to get by him that way than go on the inside. This track gets a lot more fun when the line moves up. When the line moves up, this track gets a lot more fun, in my opinion. Another caution restart. We're going to watch Seth there. And we're going green. About 15 laps to go. Oh, my sweet Jesus. Gator just jumped the crap out of that. And, oh, it was a little loose, but they keep it going. And Luke and Revenge, actually, Revenge is not running the inside anymore. He's migrating high. Now Luke's going to go to the inside. And you see he's trying to hold his line. But at the same time, he has to worry about takedown as well. He's trying, like, Luke's trying not to get in Revenge's way. But he's got to worry about takedown. And takedown's going to come up here and force Luke high. And at this point, I remember Luke was apologizing to Revenge like, I was holding my line. I got pushed up. And there's nothing I could have done. Because they were having a really clean battle. And then Takedown just sort of shoved him up, and I think that kind of ticked Luke off, and now he's going to get really aggressive trying to get back on Takedown, but we have another caution. Oh, this is going to get good. Revenge on the inside, Luke on the outside. This would be a good restart. And Turkey on the outside in the back. And set there. In the this is going to be a good restart. And we're going green with about 13 laps to go. Oh, Miracle's trying to cut it down, cheese it to the inside, and what is going on? Luke, Luke and Takedown have a huge run. Miracle and Revenge just sort of bogged and Luke and Takedown took that outside line perfectly and they just, I don't know, Luke and Takedown seem to be the best on restarts. I don't know what it is, they seem to be the best on restarts. Takedown, or Revenge is actually a little slow on restarts but he's usually up front. Look at Seth, they're moving his way through the field and he's trying to hold on to that outside line. He's getting shoved up a little bit. He's trying to hold his line and he's just getting shoved all over the place. Oh my god, I feel bad for him. He's literally just getting abused. And this is what I kind of don't like, is when drivers do that, when they just go into each other's lines. It gets kind of frustrating. It's like, just hold your line. Just hold your line and put on a good show like Luke and Revenge did. And Takedown as well got in that battle a little bit. And now it's going to be Revenge and Takedown, and Revenge is going to pull a clean slide job. And you see Revenge has sort of adopted Luke's line. He's running a little bit higher now. He's realized, oh, the high side's the place to be. Even though he ran a moto, won a moto on the inside, he's realized... When it singles out, I gotta be taking that high line if I wanna catch up. But Luke, when once he gets on rails on that high line, unless he screws up himself, it's gonna be kinda kinda tough to catch up. I 
I don't know. Luke gets a better... Luke is way better on exits than Revenge. But Revenge is a little bit better through the middle of the corner. But Luke seems to be way better on exits. But Luke got a little loose right there, so Revenge is going to be able to catch up to him. He's really close with only four laps to go. But then he gets loose. And Luke's just going to hold that outside. And he's going to get that run off, like I've been talking about. That seems to be why people, or why Revenge in particular cannot pass Luke when he catches up. Luke is really good on exit of the corner. Like, he, he's a little slow through the middle, but on exit, he just gets a huge run. Oh, but then Takedown comes up and slams him out of his line. So Luke's like, well, crossover, goes to the inside. Oh, he goes into Takedown. But he's not going to completely take away his line until he takes the outside right there as he has the overtake. And we're coming very close to the end of the race, but we have a caution right before the white flag. Wouldn't have it any other way. Another green-white checkered. Yep, 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 yep. Wouldn't have it any other way. It's the way it always ends. So you go first attempt at a green-white checkered. And I think this one gets waved off. Yes, this one gets waved off, so we're just going to go through it. Alright, and now we're going to go green for the first attempt at the green one checkered, and we're going green. And Gator jumps the crap out of it. And Luke does not go as high as he usually does. Now Revenge is going to have a little bit of a line there, and Luke and Gator both almost get shoved off the track. And unfortunately... That, um, th this is an unfortunate, Gator goes off the track a slight bit, and Rampancy had a little bit of lag on his screen, so he called a caution, because he thought Gator had fell off the track, but it was really just screen lag from Rampancy, so unfortunately, we're going to have another attempt at a green light checker, which it shouldn't have been, and Rampancy's going to finish in last, he's going to get DQ'd for that, but it really was just an honest mistake, like, we've got to keep our rules, we got we still got to give him the penalty, but it really was just an honest mistake. And we're going green. And this is what ticks people off. Miracle running the outside. He completely stops in front of the outside line to dive inside. That completely takes away Luke and Gator's line. And that sort of just screws them both up. And then Jared screws up Luke and Gator. And they're both kind of frustrated. But here we go to the white flag. Whoa. Oh, crap. we got to get back to the restart. I was just showing an example of what annoys racers at Triple B is when people do stuff like that. But here we go. We're going to go green. Takedown in first in position to win a race, but Turkey gets a better start than anybody else. Sector and Turkey both railing the inside. White flag, takedown's going to be on the outside, battling back. He won that lap, but Turkey's good at the outside, too. He's going to migrate high a little bit. It's going to be side-by-side, side. takedown and Turkey. Takedown goes off the track, and Turkey's going to get the win. And for second, it is a three-wide photo finish again, but Miracle off the drift way early again. And like I said, we'll just get him fixed up next race make sure he knows the drifting zones but you could tell he's off way early um right there he's off way early way early right there and off way early again right there so we'll just get him fixed up for next race um but he gets dq'd again and so does rampancy so they're gonna be finishing in the back but anyways turkey gets his i think third moto win of the season or fourth third or whatever anyways good job to turkey gets his moto win at triple b and he battled for it sector and another photo finish it always seems to be a photo finish gets second place over takedown who went from first to third last lap he takedown and then revenge is going to be fourth um gator wins the photo finish with luke for uh fifth luke sixth and then it'll be jared seventh and then miracle eighth and then rampancy ninth and um analyzing that last lap takedown is this it is this the last corner or no you see, takedown wins right there, and you see how smooth he was? I thought, you know what, if he can stay that smooth last lap, I think he can do it. Now, um, what happens right here is takedown, in my opinion, he should have just swooped down and went for the crossover on Turkey, but he decides to go high. And if he would have held his line high, he would have had a run on Turkey, but he got way too loose, way too loose, and he wasn't able to make a run. If he would have held his line high, I think he could have done it. But anyways... Um, good race. I'll just show a close-up of the final finish between Luke and Gator, but you can tell Gator gets him. Um, but good race. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, congratulations to Turkey for getting another moto win. He only got um, one race win in the first season, and now he's got three, I think, three or four already in uh, season season two. So two particular drivers, um, Luke and uh, Turkey, who won a little bit, in season one but in season two they're just super hot right now just winning plenty of races um and that's the rbr crew um turkey and luke so 
they're probably got they probably got that team championship on lock right now. Um, the only other team that can compete with them is Golding and RBR. And RBR consists of Luke right now, Luke Turkey Sector, um, because DJ doesn't race full time, and then Matt. And uh, GoPro Racing is Papa NJD. Papa, you know, he makes most of the races. NJD, more sort of part-time. He'll probably make four out of the eight. Um, and then Revenge, who's, again, like Papa, makes most of them probably six races out of eight. And then um, the fourth member on their team is Gator. Again, a more consistent uh, guy showing up. So those are the four. If you want to look at team battles, those are the two main teams in, in World of Outlaw, and they both... Um, they're the two big teams, basically. Rampancy, you know, Miracle, those guys are kind of, you know, on their little teams trying to make stuff work. Um, so that's kind of exciting when they, when people like them get wins. But yeah, GoPro Racing and uh, RBR are the two big, big team, big dog teams in, uh, in, um, in uh, World of Outlaw. Kind of like in TRS, um, the big team is Miller Lite Racing. They've won the championship every year. It's been a different driver, but Miller Lite Racing has won the championship every year, and it's up to, I think, Sector or Turkey. I think it's up to Turkey to win TRS again. Um, yes, yes, it's up to Turkey um, to win TRS in order for that Miller Lite Racing streak to continue. Um, but yeah, so, there, and then SX, Rockstar Energy Racing, uh, stuttering so bad right there. Rockstar Energy Racing is the big team. And uh, there's really no other second, like, big competitive team in SX yet. I'm sure somebody um, that's not Luke Sector, Papa, or Turkey, that's Rockstar Energy, um, will form a big team. But those are, just that's, that's just some insight. Firestone Firehawk has uh, Royal Crown Cola, <laughs> Royal Crown Cola, uh, RCR, Royal Crown Racing, and uh, Release the Shacken, which is Papa and Sector. Uh, RCR is, uh, I think, I think you can have th three people. I think I bumped it up to three in uh, Firestone Firehawk teams. So release the shack in his Papa Sector, and I believe Gator, and then um, R uh, RCR is Revenge, Luke, and Turkey. So those are like the two big teams in Firestone Firehawk. So they're just to end this video, this moto off, there's a little bit of insight onto the teams in these series, and you don't get to hear about that much. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the moto, and this is it until the next race and to be honest when I post this video we're probably racing and I hope you guys enjoyed it I'm really hyped for the next event because these last events were really fun and I'll see you guys next time and also next time there is a supercross race I will post it because I've skipped posting the last two supercross races those are the only races I haven't posted and it's mostly because supercross for whatever reason has had a really bad problem with attendance but I think the next supercross race will have some good attendance a good race and it'll be posted see you guys next time